All right, so I know I said part two is gonna be storage for the Jeep, but we took it out a couple weeks ago. I had to sleep in a ground tent on a regular old air mattress, and it didn't work for me. So uh, phase two is gonna be a roof rack, so I can put my rooftop tent on the top of the Jeep, and I can sleep on my nice air mattress, thick one, and sleep in comfort and style. So what I did was, I'll take you through a little bit of uh, my thought process as I was going in, uh, trying to figure out what kind of roof rack I wanted to put on here. So I really wanted one that would sit, you know, nice and tight to the body, and then use some existing mounting locations uh, as attachment points. So what I did was, went to the old 3D printer and printed uh, a few templates. Like this one goes around the windshield hinge, and then uh, another tab slide in. And then that way it's got a hole so I can bolt a tube to it. Goes on the windshield hinge, fits it nice and tight. And then once I was happy with that fit, transferred it over to the plasma table, cut it all out of quarter inch steel and welded it together. So now I've got some mounts for the front, left and right. So now all I need is a bend a piece of tube to run across them. And then for the back, I kind of did the same thing. So I made a mount to go where the tail lights are. So this is kind of a factory location of the tail, tail light mounting holes. And then I made a couple tabbed brackets that all kind of pop together. to make a nice little mount to go around the tail light. I had a tail light somewhere, but I don't know where it went. And so, once I had this, same thing, transferred it over to the plasma plasma table, cut it out of here, cut it out of here, cut it out of some quarter inch, and welded a couple little tabs up top so I can put a, a bushing in here, weld it up, and then that way I can have the roof rack kind of pivot off pivot off the back and it should make it pretty easy for one person to put it take it off and on and then also if I need to put anything else on it should make it pretty easy to bolt the roof rack tent to then I can have somebody help me uh, another set of hands bring it over to the top so I've got all my brackets made apart from the supports so if I just bolt this to where the tail light is it's going to rip out with the weight that I've got on it because the cheap tub is like as thick as a washer it's the sheet metal super thin so what i've done there is i've created a kind of a backing plate for it and so create a backing plate to mirror that with some tubing to go down to the bumper so then these two will bolt together and then i made another little little bracket uh, for uh, that will use existing holes on the back of the bumper but I have to make a, a little piece that sticks out because these aren't directly vertical. There's some space. So I have to make another little tab for this to uh, weld onto. But that way we'll have the roof rack going down here and then a backing plate all the way down to the back bumper to give it some more support. So that way it just won't tear through the sheet metal when, whenever I climb up there to go to sleep. So I've got to weld up a few of those, bend some tube, and uh, weld it together. And then we should have a nice roof rack. So uh, let me get back to work and I'll show you guys some more as I, as I go along.